Hey, hey everyone, naturally Misha here. Nice sunny day, here for another video. So first, let's start off with, I hope you are doing well. If you're not feeling well, I definitely hope you feel better. One thing I would definitely suggest is right now, think about something good, something you like, some place you like, something that makes you just feel nice and warm, laugh, any jokes, anything like that for me. I love the joke that ends with these nuts. They always crack me up. I can't help it. I can't help it ever since I was a kid. I just laugh. So I hope that helps, but let's move on. Uh, today's topic is about something I see often. Y'all know me, Instagram, Misha Naturally. Um, I see the topic of this men and women, uh, who, who's wrong battle. You know, guys, oh, she, you know, women, women do this. Why, why do women always women? Why are men always, men always do what I realize is most of the time people are talking about problems that people have. People, not just the man, not just the woman. And then it's always like, well, what's that concern? Because if you don't deal with men or if you don't deal with the women, then why does it matter while you're sitting there venting and complaining about the opposite sex? Well, it does matter because reflection matters and, and responsibility matters and change matters. And what happens is when you don't see that it's a people problem and that doesn't mean everybody of course but when it's a general people problem you restrict yourself because you're only looking at things in a relationship purpose but life is, is relationships well intimate relationship life is way more than intimacy and in that if you're not noticing the patterns of toxic y'all favorite word toxic people not just toxic mates then you're gonna constantly be caught up in the same problem. So it's important that when you're looking at somebody, notice like, okay, this female, she she does this, you don't like that. I can bet you there's a male close to you, a relative, a someone who does the same thing. Not saying it's good, better or worse. I'm saying notice the patterns, notice people. You can't swerve on the nonsense if you can't peep the nonsense. So if you're always tunnel vision on relationships and how they did you wrong versus learning and growing and moving and flowing, then you're always gonna get caught up by the same type of personalities. So in every case, stop deflecting, reflect, reflect. I know it's hard, but reflect. Also in that is reflect in a sense of reflect towards your groups too. Don't just let people just act out the people closest to you it's for you to 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 help them to point out things to to keep people growing we're all trying to grow we're all trying to do better we're trying to come together so in this sense you're in a group with your girlfriends and she you know she's ridiculous you know some of y'all girls are ridiculous and if she's ridiculous drink it girl just put her on something let her know help her grow her do your thing because from a woman to another woman, it's easier to receive and be able to speak about these things. And in that becomes a better person, better people, better women, better groups. And then it grows. Same thing for a man. A woman to come and say, oh, you, then this. Nobody wants to hear that. But from a man to a man is for y'all to say, hey, brother, and talk to him. Talk to him. Help him. Show him. So we need to get to the point where we're looking out for our people and within that, things grow. The world cannot get better if we don't help our groups. Our groups, they grow, they connect, bring people together. Let's stop deflecting, let's stop deflecting. Reflect and pull in. Look at yourself, look at those closest to you. Everything is you when you come down to it. You just have to do it in small steps to grow yourself. So. I believe that's it for today. I hope you are feeling even better now. I hope so. Um, hope it resonated. Uh, let me know. These topics, I believe I'm going to start doing something about the opposites. Because everything is opposite. People say contradictions. Contradictions is when you're, when you're completely going against a moral or a value. But in life, everything's kind of, there's always a this and a that. Always. For this to be, that has to be. So I want to get more into that. I want to understand more about that and I want to speak more on what I know about it and what I see about it because I really think it's the answer. So I want to kind of, you know, put this a little bit into some gear, get some topics out there. Uh, I'm interested to see what's going on. I know y'all see me. I'm, I'm kind of thinking and talking at the time. I'm looking forward to it. So I will see y'all. Thank you for watching. See you again.